Hey guys, welcome back to another review video, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Maximum Games exclusive U2's Reversible Sun and Moon plush. So, let's get straight into the review. So, right off the bat, right off the bat, what you're going to notice about Sun is he has a lot of printing, but U2's, their printing is actually good. We're looking at you, Funko. Anyway, um, they have, um... Sun and Moon have a lot of detail, just to say that. Um, they have bells on the wrist. There's supposed to be another bell right here. Um, they have, like, their pants, this is supposed to be a lighter color yellow. And I don't think their shoes are supposed to be this skinny. Um, they look like elf shoes. But other than that, this is such a nice plushie. Um, and it's very soft as well. Um, there easily are some things I would have changed about it. Like, I would have added this color yellow to right here. And added this color red to right here because they could have added brighter colors, but it just looks so dark right here. Um, underneath Sun's um, like ruffles, we have his buttons, um, which have printing on them. I hate printing on plushies, but to an extent, they look it looks amazing. Um, and here we have Sun's fingers um, and Sun's arms. I don't think Sun and Moon have four fingers. I think they have five, but. Um, I can't remember. So let's get straight into the for sun. Um, he has a sun rays right here, which look very, very nice. He has this. He has this smile. He has his cheeks. Funko missed out on that. Funko. Um, they embroidered his cheeks, um, and they didn't put, um, like they didn't put stuffing in there to like out them. So it's it doesn't look very nice on the Funko plushie because they're supposed to have like this bulge in the um on the side of their face. Um, and their no this one's nose is like very pointy, but that looks accurate actually because the sun and moon's nose is very po very pointy. Um, and here we have the U2's eyes, the signature U2's eyes. Um, and then we have the the face detail that sun and moon have in the game. And then we have his shoes with the little print on those. I don't know what those are supposed to be. I think those are supposed to be moon moons. Um. But yeah, that is the review for Sun. Let's get straight into the review for Moon. Guys, so, wait a minute. Where'd they go? Sun, Moon, what? They're right here. Anyway, so let's get straight into the review for Sun. Guys, so, what? oh my god, we're not doing this again. Moon, get down from the corner. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so here's Moon. Um... This one is my favorite side of the plushie because I um, I love Moon. He's one of my top 10 favorite characters alongside Glamrock Freddy from the game. Um, once again, he has his bells right here um, and the red ribbons. He has four fingers, which is really not accurate, um, but we don't care. He has um, his shoes, his ruffle. The printing looks a lot better on Moon and it's a lot brightly colored um, than Sun because I don't like whatever color that is. Um... And then we have his ruffles, we have his stomach, which is really accurate with the blue buttons. Um, we have his hands, we have... See, look, they couldn't take off the sun rays or sun wouldn't be there, so they kind of just added um, sun's, like, thing right here. They're supposed to be... In the product images I saw, there's supposed to be a bell right here. Um, why it's not included on the sun and moon plushies, I have no clue, but there is supposed to be a bell right there. Um, but other than that, we have his red U2's eyes, his face embroidering, his pointy nose, his cheeks right here, his smile, which I really like, um, face detail, his hat right here is right here, like the, um, top of his hat, um, and we also have his pants with all the stars on them, we have his hands, we have, over here is the sun side, but we have his tag, um, and we also have this tag, we're gonna take a look at his tag in a second, but we have everything right here that we need for Moon. Um, every YouTube plush that comes out that is Moon is very nice. I really like the sitting and standing ones. And I ha happen to have the Shoulder Rider um, version, which will get be getting a review in the near future. So, yeah, here's Moon. Just overall, just amazing. Whoever designed this, you did a good job. And you twos, um, thank you for releasing Sun and Moon merch. Because um, we thought Funko was never going to. Um, until we got those action figures, the amazing action figures. As, as of right now, we have Sun and Moon, Eclipse, Sun and Moon Funko Pop, four Sun and Moon plushies, including the ruined ones, two Jumbos, and two Shoulder Riders. That's what I have as of right now. Um, so yeah, 
here's Moon. It's very nice. I, I will leave a link in the description for this plush on like Macari or something because this is no longer available. Um, it comes with a $150 um, collector's edition, which I will be doing a separate review on that and for all the items. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wait a minute, we forgot something. What did we forget? Hold on, we forgot to look at the tag. We're gonna look at the tag real quick before we go. So, thanks for collecting me. It has those two hands right here, that's pretty cute. Um, Final Tip Freddy's 2022 Scott Coffin Reserves. Uh, manufactured in China, um, well, designed in Canada. Um, um, choking Hazard, 15 plus. And then it has this like holographic sun and moon, like thing on the front which is really nice this plush is called the daycare attendant designed by castro and i cannot read that i don't i can't read cursive um but yeah certified plush certified plush this also this right here i just found out it's um this is a maximum games exclusive plushie so shout out to them so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one good bye